here. Uh, Potentially. Yeah. Maybe someone who's just um, new. Like, remember when Ben999 showed up for the first time? Yeah, Ben is, uh, was a Wi-Fi warrior, right? Yep. I, I always like to say that Ben was just like, one day, mm, today I will make people suffer with Luigi in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And he just showed up here, and he did exactly that. Oh, he plays Pikachu. This is a character we sort of lack here on Long Island. Mm -hmm. uh, Curb being one of the top Pikachus here. I don't know who else plays Pikachu, actually. Um, off the top of my head, I can't really think of anyone. Yeah. Um, but what you need to know about Pikachu, very small, um, very quick, light character, um, solid combo game, great edge guarding game, an excellent choice of competitive play. Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. This character is... Most people consider... A lot of people consider him number one. Most pe people consider him top five. And... Uh, so these back air strings, they're going to come out. Soul Art's using that Shield Monado to get out of it. Uh, those up tilts doing a little bit of damage. Oh, now that back air is going to do a little bit more because of Buster. Schultz's damage output is absolutely insane when Buster's on. And because um, his moves um, do a lower amount of knockback when Buster Monado is on, um, he also gets some unique combo opportunities that he wouldn't be able to get with the other arts. Mm. All right, Solart switching to speed here. Let's see if he can start building up this damage. He, uh, he's got him at the ledge. Which is a very bad position to be in against Shulk, just because he can swing those aerials and cover so much space. However, it's even scarier when he has Smash Art on. Hmm. All right, both of them playing a very... Uh, Patient, defensive game. Yeah. Kira is just trying to um, keep... Uh, Shulk at bay with these Thunder Girls. Maybe it'd be able to go for a follow-up. Another thing I wanted to point out is that Shield Art is going to be very important in this matchup because um, getting hit by all those multi hits gives Solaris plenty of time to react and activate it so he can break himself out of combos. Mm. All right, Smash Man Auto on the board. Great spot dodge from Kira. He's going to try and get the Smash Man Auto. That's going to be a ball at the forward stop. smash. Uh, I actually have to play a set, so I'm going to be getting off a commentary. Sorry. All right. Good luck, Manny. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be commentating the solo for a little while. So, we already saw that Soul Arts took uh, the first stock here. But let's see what Kira can do um, to bring this back. It looks like Kira's trying to fish for these jab blocks of down tilt. But Soul Arts has the awareness to know that he needs to check them. So, he's getting out of these jab lock situations very easily. But Kira is able to catch his jump with a forward air even out the stops. It really seems like Swords is missing all these upbeats out of show, though, because of Pikachu's size. And also because when Pikachu um, hits the ground after an aerial, he tends to crouch down even further, which is causing these moves to whiff. So all of a sudden, this just went from Swords having a considerable lead to it being a pretty even game. Okay. Once again, Solaris is very good at checking these. He's not going to be being caught by those easily. And he has the Smash Art at the ledge. This could be a big game changer. But Pikachu is one of the characters that can get out of those situations more easily than others due to that quick attack. So let's see. This is a very even game. Who's going to be able to finally take the stock and get the lead back? Solar is switching into Shield Art to give him a little while longer um, to consider a way to take the stock and to survive. Oh, but Pikachu getting the dash attack to take Solar to second stock. That move is surprisingly strong, actually. But Solar is answering right back with the Smash Art upbeat. And just like that, it's completely even match. Seems like both of them are playing a pretty patient game right now. It can be really hard to get it against um, Soul Arts's, um, uh big moves of Shulk. But especially when Pikachu, although he's very quick, doesn't really have a large amount of range to contest him. Okay. And you can also see Swords is using his disjointed aerials to cancel out um, Kira's Thunder Jumps. 
and that shield art is going to stop him from taking full damage from that combo. Shulk is uniquely able to combo break like that because no other character has a tool that allows him that allows him to um, change the physics during hit stun like that. Oh, the smash art's online. This is the scariest position to, position to be against Shulk. Oh, Kira gets the up smash blocked, and Shulk quick Shulk quickly responds as a forward smash ends that stock super early. Solar is just going to take game one. Okay, it looks like we're going to go to Final Destination um, in Game 2. Um, personally, I'm not completely sure why um, Hero wants to go to FD. It might just be a comfort pick, or there might be something that I'm missing. Um, it'll be interesting to see if I can um, figure out why. Okay, so Game 2, Final Destination, Shulk against Pikachu, Solars against Kiranji. And Kira is starting pretty strong. Got a good 20% off and forced uh, Solar into Shield Art. But the thing is, Kira recognizes that because um, when Shulk has Shield Art on, his mobility is decreased a lot. So he just disengages from the situation once he sees the Shield Art and um, just gives him some breathing room. So once again, just like game one, this seems to be a pretty patient game so far, um, where they're both trying to just kind of play neutral. No one's really trying to rush in that much. But Kira has the advantage state right now, and he's just able to stuff out Solaris' moves at close range, because while Shulk has a ton of range, um, his startup across the board is pretty slow. Okay. Pikachu is in a ledge situation, but because Pikachu is so small and quick, he's able to get out of it uh, very, very well. But once again, Smash Art, let's see what uh, Solaris can do with this. Oh, he deactivates it um, pretty quickly. I guess he didn't see a situation where he could uh, get a KO. Here is just getting away with all these quick attacks. I'm not sure if uh, Solaris knows how to punch that effectively. It can be very difficult, especially with a character that has slow startup like that. Oh, Smash Art the ledge again. And the Nair's going to take it off the top. But Kira's answering right back. Um, I think Kira was trying to go for an up throw of Thunder there, but he just stopped at the last second. He landed the Thunder there, but it didn't connect properly. Oh, but that forward air is going to take it. Just like last game, uh, that foreigner seems very good at covering um, ledge jump and ledge hop. Solar is going to use that shield art to get out of um, Kira's combos, stop them pretty early. It's going to switch to speed. So one notable thing um, about Shulk, while he has the shield art um, to kind of combo break in a way that no other character can, it's on a cooldown. Once he uses it, he has to wait a few seconds before he can use it again. So Kira, um, right now, is going to have some free reign on um, uh, what follow-ups he can get compared to when he has Shildar online. And just like that, down tilt the trip, but Solaris is able to stall him out for just enough time for him to activate the Shildar. Oh, goes for the up air, but barely misses. That up air is extremely strong, and it definitely would have taken the stock if Solaris was just a little closer. Just like I said before, Kira sees the shield art and disengages, instead of trying to challenge him as much as he possibly can. Solaris just runs right into that forward smash. Right now, he's in a really bad spot. Oh, ledge trump in the back air. But Solaris is able to air dodge out of the situation. I guess Kira didn't time it properly. He has the smash art. Oh. Good flank. And that forward air hits from behind him. And now it's going to be really hard for Kira to take this stuff. Oh, good DI on the dash attack. Just barely survived that dash attack. He has Solaris off stage. Goes for the Nair, but gets stuffed out by the upbeat, and Solaris just barely grabs the ledge. He's clinging on to life. Oh. Jump parts online. Super high air mobility. And shield. See, this is what can happen when Shulk gets momentum. It's so hard to kill him in that shield art 
that it, it can really be a struggle. And now it's Smash Art of the Ledge again. But, Choke isn't, uh, Swords isn't able to switch. Oh! Now that was a hard read right there. Realizes, okay, Kira's gonna dash back here. I'm just gonna fall off of the respawn platform and backslash to take the set 2-0 over Kira, who impressively made an upset over Sone earlier in the bracket.